Hey everyone, Slash in here. Welcome back to another video. We see a very interesting board with, uh, yeah, a bit cluster door, right? So I think there might be some collusion going on, won't it? But without any further ado, let's check this out. All right, so with 810 being eight points of ore, while, yeah, we only have a 12 left on the other hand, I think this is a pretty strong spot and I think that there might be some collusion against the player who gets this one just also to steal a lot of ore from the person uh, besides we do have four wheat sheep tiles on the yeah he takes 4 8, 10 that was pretty obvious uh, besides I was just about to say so 5 9 10 and the two on the sheep tiles on the top all being together I think there might be also some sheep mono there I doubt that there will be more than two players on sheep with that so so let's see what happens. He takes the 5 9 10, which is also pretty reasonable, I think. Picking the only reasonable or spot. I don't know, I wouldn't mind guess taking 3 4 8. Then you at least have a solid rogue game. Yeah. That was it about that. Alright, so what's plan B? Um so plan B is taking 5, 6, 11 with the 3, 4, 9 going for the 3, 8 spot. Yeah, I guess we just do that. So I'm picking the sheep first or the wheat. I think the wheat. So we take 5, 6, 11. I'm not so sure about where to point my road here because no matter where I place it, I think it's pretty useless. Yeah, probably someone will pick 4, 6, 11 here. And I also don't think that 3, 10, 11 will be opened, but... Because someone will take the 9, 10. So I think I just point upwards here to start with a connecting potential here. And then we take 3, 4, 8 to go for 3, 8. Does not feel like the best setup, but yeah, let's see what happens. Screw it. <laughs> oh, really? He takes the 3, 8. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, wow. <laughs> But there goes my whole game plan. <laughs> Alright, there goes the 4, 6, 11 and... Oh, that might me mean the 3, 10, 11 is opened or the 9, 10, 11. I guess he will take a wheat spot and then 6, 9, 2 seems like the best option. Alright, he takes 6, 9, 2 going to the left. I think that's also a good spot, so... I am still not sure about this setup, but okay. <laughs> I don't know, do we go for 3 6? It's giving us a warp port, which we're not using the whole game, so. Nah, I'm not so sure. I don't think that does too much. What am I thinking? I'm not so sure. I'm really not sure. I think I'm losing this. I don't see this winning. I do. I got no clue where to go. Should I go 9, 10, 11? But what is happening afterwards? I mean, the 3, 6 is all uh, interesting one, but... The warp port is not helping at all, so... 9, 12 is also not doing anything. I think I go for the 9, 10, 11, because I don't know what I should do instead, so... Wood for wheat. I'm not so sure. I don't really want to trade with red uh, black there, so All right, he's not getting a deal. So he's buying a death. I think that makes a lot of sense and we roll an 8 and 80 is super ugly So red is again banking on the paired numbers Sheep for two wood sheep for wheat and What he just gave him two wood I'm really not sure if you should have done that, but okay. Alright, what do we get? A 7, and this is definitely on the 8, and this is definitely on black there. Alright, so wood, that's not helpful, but still. I would need a weed, but... I'm not so sure why they're trading so careless, that's... Ah, okay, there goes my 9, 10, 11. Or does he go to 3, 6? Do I have a choice? I 
All right, this is not going well. <laughs> All right. Does he do that now? Okay, he does not do that. Then let's trade for an ore because I would need to do that anyway. And let's just pass. Oh, that's a nice block there, nice. Out of five. Okay, then you rather for for once. It makes sense. So what do we got? A lovely eight. I would really need a brick there. No, then we just trade for another ore, I guess. We roll, roll a lot of eights. Yeah, brick is so rare. <laughs> okay, he blocks the six wheat. I was just about to type that. Yeah, he tried to seal the brick there, but he's not getting it, so... I don't know, so... Not much happened so far, we are playing a couple turns, we're asking for a lot of deals, but nothing's really happening, so... Oh, he finally got a brick there. Hey, the wheat port is huge for him. Alright, so how about we're finally getting a brick? It's a six, okay. Um, don't think there's any ore on the board, so... Sure, we can do that, because that's a city. Yeah. Still trying to get a break, okay. I am not so sure, I don't really need to put too much anyway, so... Not so sure if that's even a big issue for me. Where's he going? He's also not taking the sheep port, okay. He takes a brick port, that's a pretty nice one for him. I'm interesting though that he's not taking the sheep port. I mean the free front port is also not bad, but the sheep port with this production, so... There's a six, okay. All right, that's a seven. That's a weed, that's great. I really disagree, that's it's even. Don't wanna do that, but yeah. I really still think that black should have gone for the sheep port there. Oh my goodness, guys, I can't believe it. <laughs> <sighs> I don't get it why we can be the target here, but okay. So that's a nine. Oh, that hurt. The 9 is doubling his wheat production, but still, the sheep port is super scary. Problem is I can also buy any devs to stop black, that's the problem. I guess I'm going for the 9-12 next, but not like I'm a huge fan of that spawn. Also buying a death, okay. Yeah, yellow is also not in a bad spot, that's the thing. I read it, ah, I don't need the sheep still, so let's discard that. But I'm not sure that yellow is the target. Alright, I could really use an 11 at some point, that would really be helpful. 11 is probably our best number right now. Oh, eight is ugly. The ten or is also a pretty solid block, I think. But I would still like it more on the eight. Okay, come on, eleven. You are possible to roll, right? 
to six. It's close. So we are the brick part is also not completely trash, but I'm not so sure it's as useful as other spots on the board, so That was, uh, yeah, we don't talk about that move, but okay. <laughs> yeah, that 8 is so killing now. Oh, really? My goodness. An 8, okay, can we do something now? Yeah, I guess I'm going for the 11, 12 now. Well, that's a pretty, pretty bad spot. Yeah, whatever. I would also maybe not be mad about getting to 310 now, because then I can at least point upwards somehow, but... If I place on a road, then Red will cut me off immediately here, so... Because he does also have a good production on Salamence, so... But all in all, this is not going our way anyway, so... <laughs> Another 8. What's Rat doing? Monoing or it's not bad. Not bad at all. Yep, that's a huge one. Wow, we can wow, triple city there. Wow. Another six. Then we go for another break. We definitely need to place on a road here because otherwise he's cutting me off here. Ah, we haven't gotten in a brick in like 20 years, that's a problem. We have so much uh, slow progress with roads. But the mana was so huge, oh my goodness. Three cities in one turn. Yes, of course we rolled seven. <laughs> um. I think I'd rather keep the wood because I am still optimistic that we will roll 11 and then we needed to road road sell, so. Uh, that was too optimistic about 11 there, right? Okay, the 1 million 6 is also helping there because we're at least getting the 11 12. Now I am even more optimistic that we will roll 11 right because 11 wheat is super helpful. Like does not have a good time so far buying deaths though. Now it's going from 8 to 8. Interesting. But Dread put him in a really strong spot with the mono, so the three cities definitely help. The brick does also. <laughs> All right, another seven. So I think I want to block the six so that Black is playing an eye. And we try to steal a brick there. That's a weed. Too bad. Yeah, I think that was pretty smart to block the six there. Now we have the problem that it doesn't have a good other blocking spot, I guess. Yeah, the four wood does not do too much. Wow, so many eights. Recently, at least. But I'm not too mad about rolling 20 million sevens now. It would be better if we roll more, but... Alright. So two. I hope no one wants to build something. <laughs> Which for sheep. Yeah. Can't pass on that. So he really got four cities on the board, interesting. Oh my goodness, I was... Is that a brick, really? Wow, amazing. Not so sure if it's smart to place on the rope, but we do it. Oh my goodness, finally, we have it. Now we don't have any wood, that's too bad. <laughs> okay, he rather wants to steal from yellow there. Probably needs wheat or something. I think that was not a smart deal from yellow there, but okay. 
Okay, it's not getting the D there. Very gano buff eight cards. Too bad. I mean, eight cards is nothing bad, right? But yeah, the seven afterwards will be bad. <laughs> okay, how about a six? It's a ten. Now I would need the wood. Yeah, that's pretty sure that he will take the army. Where should I have two or? Come on, guys. <laughs> All right, then I guess I do this, but I'm not really a huge fan of that. Yeah, then let's go. Gotta do something, so let's take the free 10. Puts me also on 8, that's not too bad. I don't think I'll trade with, like, there. It's just too scary. All right. A rope building, but he's probably on nine now, so it will probably get game next turn. Might not be too many VPs around, though. I'm really not sure why we should give yellow the road there, but okay. Um, is that TG? Fifteen cards is huge, but he does not have another his settlement, uh, city spot, so. He's not buying any VPs, or at least not two VPs. Bought three deaths there, okay. It's another 10. Alright, I guess I try to buy a VP there, because if I have to build another CD, that's definitely not my game, so... Let's try this. That's a night too bad. Yeah, it's GD. I feel like it was pretty obvious that Black will win this one. I mean, the Mono did make a big difference with the free city turn from Red there, but besides that, I'm not so sure. Yeah. I think the No Sheep did not come handy for Yellow there. Also, I'm not so sure. Trades were not going down too much, although there were a lot of suggestions. So Red was also not too lucky, he only picked up one VP there. In the end we did have a lot of 8s, that was something we should definitely consider. So although during the whole game there were not too many 8s, at the end they really shined a lot. And I think that's also what reflects the game, so at the beginning Black did not have too much progress especially. And later it just, yeah, went really fast with the death cards. I mean he also does have an amazing Orby cheap, so... He does not have too much weed, but besides that, it's it's a really strong one, so... Yeah, too bad. Also, 11 should have rolled a bit more often, that's the thing. I think that really slowed us a lot down, so... With some, one single 11, we could have gotten maybe the 9-12, and then maybe the 11-12. And then this is maybe looking a bit different, so... But all in all, it's just with the free 8 being picked, I think that completely screwed our game there, so... I'm also not sure if I should have not pointed towards the right, but I was really not sure that he would take free aid. I think red does have better options there, so I'm not so sure if I should have seen that coming. So, but yeah, at least I was right with the 4 8 10 being the winner, right? <laughs> but anyway, I really hope you still enjoyed watching this little video, and I really hope we can see us on the next one. Have a shining day, and see ya!